The decision on the bail application of Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana will be handed down in the Bluefontein Magistrates Court on Monday. This after the state and defence concluded their closing arguments. SABC News senior reporter Chris Alda Lewis has more. The issue of uh, the schedule of the offences Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana is facing were a strong point inside court today with the state providing as I indicated, a written notice from the Director of Public Prosecutions, which indicates that Makutumana will be arraigned on alleged corruption, which is a Schedule 5 offence. But the defence says the charges in their current form did not speak or talk to the evidence. Remember, this is quite important because an accused, for example, who faces a Schedule 5 offence, the onus would be on him or her to show that it would be in the interest of justice for that person to be granted bail. And if you have an accused that is facing, let's say, a Schedule 1 offence, the onus would be on the state to show why the accused should not be granted bail. Let's take a listen to some of those arguments on the bone of contention regarding the schedule of some of the offences Makutumana faces. Let's take a listen. We are saying, court, please, you should not lose sight of this discrepancy that you, we, we, we uncovered in the state's evidence. The fact of the matter is, I can see there could have been, when one looks at the definition and what the crime is, accused number four is included. And what is the gratification in that respect? 2.5 million rand, whereby 40,000 rands was paid. Even if the 40,000 rand was not paid, the corruption is complete. We're talking of 2.5 million rand. Well, the defense maintains uh, that Makutumana was forced uh, to leave the country. Uh, she had left the country involuntarily, they say, and that uh, the state uh, does not basically rebut that version. It maintains uh, that she won't abscond from her trial saying that she has everything to lose and she has strong family ties in South Africa and even has movable assets to the value of one million rand. The defense argues those are some of the reasons that diffuse the question on whether she would evade her trial. Let's take a listen. The state is opposing. The state is saying, I have a strong case. And the state has presented a whole range of, of, of allegations, some of which, Your Worship, cast doubt, or rather, they are untruthful. There is, for instance, an allegation which I will deal with later, of the number of times the applicant has contacted, has been in contact with the, with the children. The state comes up with something else, which is not backed up by any shred of evidence. It's their weight, and their weight cannot be gospel. The court must take the holistic evidence before it. The investigating officer has, has mentioned in his five pages, which are said to be stories, how Tabo Bester, how the orchestration of the escape of Tabo Bester happened. And the fact that he was incarcerated at the maximum prison. And he says in this affidavit, the mastermind was the applicant. Well, the last appearance where Makutumana had appeared alongside Tabo Besta also came up where the two, you would recall, appeared cozy with each other. The state says, in addition to that, Makutumana is challenging her transportation back to South Africa, yet she claims she was kidnapped and was forced to leave the country, as she states in her affidavit. The state also raising the issue of why she didn't open a case against Tabo Besta. Let's take a listen. What is the state attempting to say here? In relation to what? Is it because the applicant alleges that she was 
instructed and commanded to alight into a vehicle and leave the country. What does that have to do with, with if the applicant in that particular time, she is there saying she was smiling. How does that negate what happened four months ago? And in what state of the mind and in what psychological state is the applicant currently? The applicant is kidnapped by accused five. She says she resisted, she was overpowered, and the like. In other words, accused five in her own words, if, if we have to agree this, accused five take her away from her children, two children, denying her with that action the parental responsibility that she says she has over the two children. She takes, he takes her away from a medical practice clinic because she could not be, she could not be able to practice while she was kidnapped, but she's taken her away from, he takes her away from that as a medical doctor. He takes her away from her siblings. Because in her affidavit she says she still have parents and she still have siblings. And now she finds herself arrested now and applying for bail as a result of the actions of accused number five. And your ship, you choose not to open a criminal case against this person. All right, as you indicated, judgment uh, in the bail application or the decision on whether Nandi Pamakudumana will be granted bail will be made on the 11th of September. That is uh, next Monday. You would recall, of course, that Makudumana appeared in court today on her birthday. Quite a notable presence of several of her family members inside court. Her father, who is one of the co-accused in this matter, Zolina Segeleni, was also inside court uh, this uh, morning. You would recall, of course, that he is out on bail of uh, 10,000 rands. And also her sister was also in court. And one of those to have made the first appearance uh, inside court today to come and support uh, the sister is uh, Nandi Pamakudumana's uh, brother, uh, who was also inside uh, court this morning. They kept um, uh, speaking to each other. And also, as they were leaving uh, court uh, this afternoon, after the proceedings uh, had adjourned, of course, for the bail decision, which is next week, Monday, what we also saw was that some family members were carrying a cake. And, of course, that cake, I guess, uh, was uh, to celebrate the birthday of uh, Nandipa Makudumana. But, of course, all eyes will be on next week, Monday, on whether this court will decide uh, what has been advanced inside this court would be enough on the part of the defence in this matter to ensure that Dr Nandipa Makudumana does uh, get a bail or not. That decision, expected next week, Monday, will learn then whether she'll be released on bail.